Hi there, my name is Telestine from Team Devaru, and in this video you will learn how you can make money with affiliate marketing promoting products of Ad Combo. So let's dive in. This video is brought to you by Deberu.com, the number one affiliate marketing software platform. All right, here we are at the dashboard of the Deberu Tracker, and in this video you will learn how you can make money promoting Ad Combo products using the native ads on Avidav. So we have a lot to discuss, so let's dive straight in. And before we're gonna prepare our tracker for today's campaign, first I wanna show you the offer that we're gonna focus on today. So it's gonna be an ad combo offer, of course, and it's gonna be the Power Factor Saver. Uh, so basically a tool that will help you to save energy, save electricity and power, uh, and thus save you money. Okay, so that's the product that we're going to promote uh, today. And as you can see, there are quite some landing pages and offer pages available. Uh, please remember that inside of that combo, the landings refer to the offer pages and the pre landings refer to the landing pages. Okay, uh, so we have quite a lot. Um, but we'll get to that in a second. First, we need to make sure that our tracker is ready and all set up for this campaign. So let's go to the Debra tracker. And one of the first things that you want to make sure is that we have both the affiliate network as well as the traffic source added to our Debra tracker. Okay, for, so for this campaign, that means that we need to add Ad Combo as an affiliate network and Avidev as a traffic source. All right, let's start with uh, Ad Combo. So I'm gonna go to the tab Affiliate Networks. I have already Ad Combo inside my Debaru Tracker, which means that I don't have to add it for any future campaigns using Ad Combo as the affiliate network. However, if you do not have Ad Combo inside your Debaru Tracker just yet, adding it is very easy. Simply click on Create and then Affiliate Network. And then from this list, we're gonna select Ad Combo and press next and everything is pre-set up, all right? So you don't have to change anything in this setup. Simply just select your workspace and click on save and you're all good to go, all right? And we want to do the same thing for the traffic source. So today we're gonna create a campaign using the native ads of Avidav. So we need to make sure that we have Avidav as a traffic source in the Debaru tracker. So let's go to the tab traffic sources and right here is where we will find Avidav already in there. However, if you don't have Avidav inside your Debaru tracker just yet, the process is exactly the same as adding a affiliate network. So click on create, click on traffic source, and from this list, select Avidav from the uh, pre setup traffic sources. Let's see where it is. Right here, perfect, let's press next. And once again, everything is pre-set up. All the parameters are, all, are there. So all you have to do is select your workspace and click on save, okay? All right, so by now you know how to add the affiliate network and how to add the traffic source to your Debaru tracker. And that's great because those are the first two steps into creating your affiliate marketing campaign and start earning some money with your campaign. All right, the next step is gonna be adding the offer, okay? So I'm gonna go to the tab offers, and right here we are going to click on create and click on offer, okay? All right, so first we want to select the workspace, then we want to select the affiliate network and the country tag, which is gonna be Malaysia. There we go. Let's give this offer a name. So let's just simply call it Power Factor Saver. There we go. All right. And if you want to split test some offer pages, you can. All right. What you have to do in that case is do this process as many times as offer pages that you want to test. So if you want to test two different offer pages at the start of your campaign, then you will do this process twice. In that case, I would say offer page one and offer page two for the second one, just to make sure that you're clear which one is which, okay? Um, in regards to the link, the link is gonna be different for each offer page that you want to test out, 
okay? Uh, so the offer URL, we can grab that from at combo. Um, I'm going to host my landing page myself. So I want to make sure that I have selected no pre landing. Okay. And then right here we have all these different offer pages. And when you select an offer page, the link will keep slightly changing depending on which offer page you choose. Okay. So for every offer page that you want to test, we're going to create a new offer inside the Debrew tracker using this new tracking link while you select the right offer page okay so let's uh, check this one out okay this one looks pretty good so let's say we want to use this landing page right here so it's already selected no pre-landing which is great uh, so this is the link to this offer page that we now have selected okay so i'm going to copy this because we're going to paste it in the debaru tracker in a minute however if you want to split test another offer page you would just select the second one and with this tracking link, you would do the exact same thing. So you would create a new offer in the Debaru tracker with this new tracking link. And then you have two offer pages ready to go in your tracker. But we're going to keep it with one for this example. So I've copied the, uh, the previous one, this one right here. So let's go to the Debaru tracker. And we're going to paste that offer URL in here. All right. Now, this bar underneath your offer URL will tell you the parameters that you would have to add to the end of your offer URL, okay? So simply copy this bold part, there we go. And before I paste it at the end of my offer URL, I first wanna add a question mark. So one question mark, and then I'm gonna paste in that parameter that is shown below, all right? Once you've done that, we're all good to go. So we can press save and we have now added the offer to the tracker. Next up is the landing page. So for the landing page uh, counts the same thing as for the offer page. If you want to split test them, we're going to create multiple. All right. So for this one, for the landing page, I'm actually going to show you how you can split test two different landing pages and we're gonna use some of the landing pages from Ad Combo. However, we're gonna host them ourselves using the Debaru landing page builder. So let's go over to Ad Combo and let's just check some of them out. So uh, let's say uh, we want to uh, do this one and you know what? I'm just gonna download two of them. That's one and let's do uh, this one, okay? All right. So let's head over to the Debaru landing page builder, which is where we can upload our zip files that we have just downloaded from Ad Combo. To do so, I'm gonna click on the button upload zip. And first I want to give my landing page a name. So power, what was it? Power Factor Saver. Factor Saver LP landing page one. All right, and I'm going to drag in the first one and click on create. All right. Oh, this is a bit of a weird one. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's do another one because this one is kind of messed up. Let's download this one in instead. All right, so I'm going to exit this editor for now. And we're going to try the other ones. All right, so uh, power vector saver. That's the one. Let's call this LP2 landing page two and let's see how this one looks that's much better okay perfect all right um so of course you've got to consider what language you're going to promote in i'm going to make my ads during this uh, video in english to make sure that everybody's able to read but of course you might want to do this in the native language of the country that you're going to promote in okay uh, and you want that to be in line. So in Malaysia, they speak a couple different languages, I believe. Uh, so you want to make sure that they, there, there's coherency in your campaign. So your ad, your landing page, and your offer page should all be in the same language, okay? Uh, but we're gonna disregard that for now. And uh, we've got this first landing page right here. 
and we can add anything that we want, all right? Even though we downloaded this landing page from the ad combo offer, we can still change anything that we want, whether it is the image, the headline, uh, the pictures, the call to action right here, you can change it all. And once you're done, once you're completely 100% satisfied with how this landing page looks, then the only important thing not to, th not to forget is adding the click URL, the destination URL, okay? So let me go to the tracker first because we need to grab our click URL from the tracker. And I'm gonna click on my name and click on tracker settings. And right here, I'm gonna click on the tab tracking URLs and that's where I will find my click URL. I'm gonna copy this click URL and then we head over back to the landing page builder and I'm gonna click on page info and right here you will find the field destination URL and that's where I'm gonna paste in that click URL that I just copied, all right? Then I'm gonna click on change links. The links have been updated, great. So now let's publish this first landing page, okay? Alrighty, there we go. Our first landing page is live. And of course we need to create it in the Debrew Tracker as well, but we'll get to that in just a second. First, I wanna make sure that we have the second landing page ready as well, because we said we were, we were gonna do a split test. So we're gonna split test these two different landing pages and see which one performs better, okay? So I'm gonna call this one uh, Power Vector Save Landing Page 3. So we're gonna use two and three since one was a little bit buggy. All right, so this is uh, the third one, perfect. So as you can see, this is a different language, right? Uh, so that wouldn't really fit in with uh, the coherency of the campaign, uh, but we're gonna disregard that for now. You can still change anything that you want, and once you're done, go to the page info and paste in that destination URL, the click URL. Change the links. Perfect, and then once the links are changed, we're gonna publish this landing page. And once it's published, we can start creating the landing pages inside the Debrew Tracker. So here we go, both our landing pages are published. We have this one and we have this one, which is great. So now let's head back over to the Debrew Tracker and we're gonna go to the Landers tab to create our two different landing pages, okay? All right, so I'm gonna click on create and click on lander. And then first we want to select the workspace in which we want to create this. So I'm using the initial workspace. Then we have the country tag, which is gonna be Malaysia for this campaign. And let's give this campaign or this lander a name as well. So power factor saver. And I like to personally have the affiliate network in there as well, a combo. All right, and let's call it LP1, all right, landing page one. All right, so let's copy this landing page URL or S3 link, whatever you wanna call it, and I'm gonna paste that in here under the lander URL. All right, so that's all good to go. Let's press save, and then we want to do the exact same process for the second landing page that we have. So I'm gonna click on create lander once more, and there we go. I'm gonna copy this uh, landing page URL of the second lander that we're gonna use. And I'm gonna paste that in here as the lander URL. Change this to two because it's the second landing page and we're gonna press save. All right, so up until this moment, uh, you have added the affiliate network, the traffic source, the offer page, and two different landing pages that we want to split test, okay? Whether you want to do more offer pages, more landing pages, or less landing pages, only one, that's all fine. You can even do without landing page, but I do not recommend so, uh, since your conversions will go a little bit less, but if you want, you can do direct linking as well. So once you're done adding all your offer pages, all your landing pages, then it's time to start creating the campaign inside the Debrew Tracker. And once we're done there, we'll We'll move over to Avidav to create our campaign as well as our ads inside the Avidav platform. But first things first, we need to create the campaign inside the Debrew Tracker. So let's head over to the Campaigns tab and we're going to create a new campaign. I personally like to use the uh, Tracking Simple format. First we're going to select the Workspace, then the Traffic Source, whoops, uh, there we go. 
the country tag. All right, and let's give this campaign a name. So power vector saver. And once again, I personally prefer to have the name of the affiliate network in there. The cost model, I'm going to leave that to auto and the transition between the ad and campaign funnel. Uh, so when the user clicks on your ad and goes to your landing page, how do you want that redirect to be? Do you want it to be a direct link or do you want it to be a redirect? All right. Since we're using native ads, I prefer the redirect option. Then we have the campaign destination. So you have the option to create your path inside a pre saved flow and select your flow from the list right here. Or you can decide to create your path while creating your campaign. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. So I'm going to click on path and the path destination. We want it to be landers and offers unless you decided to run without a landing page. Once again, I do not recommend it, but it may be your choice. In that case, you will select offers only, but we're going to work with landers and offers. Then we have the transition to the offer. So this is from the landing page to the offer page. When the user clicks on the link on the landing page and goes to the offer page, do you want it to be a direct or a, a redirect, a 302 redirect uh, option? And we're going to go with the letter, the 302 redirect. Then we have the landers and the offers. So if you have um, multiple offers, then you will add multiple offers here and the same for landers. Uh, we decided we're going to go with two landing pages and one offer page. So I'm going to add two landers and one offer. And then we're going to look for the landers that we just have created. So power saver factor, power vector saver one and power vector saver two. And then for the offer page as well. That's the one. All right, perfect. So we have added our two landing pages and our offer page. So let's press save. And then we have created the campaign inside the Debrew tracker. All right. So now we have this campaign URL here. I'm going to copy this campaign URL because we're going to need it a little bit later on while we are creating the campaign inside of Avidev. So let's actually head over there right now. Okay. So here we are in the, uh, in the portal, in the, uh, a dashboard of Avidav and we're going to create a new campaign. So on the left side, you will find the menu and I'm going to click on this plus sign next to campaigns. First, we want to give our campaign a name. All right. I like to start my campaign name with the abbreviation of the geo in the case of Malaysia, that's M Y. And then I like to have the name of the offer. And last but not least, I still prefer to have the name of the affiliate network in there as well. So this is how I would format my campaign name. Then we have the advertising format. So we're going to go with native ads, obviously. And then we have the pricing model. So you can decide between a CPC, a cost per click model, or the CPM model, the cost per mile or cost per thousand impressions. Um, if you're just starting out with affiliate marketing, if you do not have a whole lot of experience or native ads is completely new to you, I recommend you to go with the CPM option. If you had a, have a bit more experience and you feel like you know what you're doing and you feel like you might profit more from a CPC model, then of course, feel free to do so. All right. So then we have the campaign group. So you can group your campaigns together inside your Avidav platform. All right. So maybe you want to group all the campaigns of a specific geo together or all the campaigns of a specific vertical together, then you can do so. Okay. Simply create a campaign group and you can add it to that group right here. All right. We're going to skip it for now. Then we have the target URL. So this is where you want to paste in that campaign URL that you received a little earlier in the demo tracker. So we're going to paste it in here and that's all good. Then we have the frequency capping per day. So how many times can a single user see your ads per day? I like to personally set that on two, uh, but that's my personal preference. So if you want to up it a bit, feel free to do so. If you feel like two is already too high, you can also set it on one, whatever works for you, whatever floats your boat. Okay. Then we have the conversion postback URL right here. 
the automated rules. Uh, so you can use these uh, rules to help you with the optimization process. All right. Um, personally, I like to just analyze my data, my campaigns quite often. Uh, so I don't feel like I don't need automated rules. If there's something happening with my campaign, I check so often that I will see it immediately and I can um, take action myself. All right. However, if you have less time available or you have so many campaigns that you feel like you lose the, 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 the oversight and in a while that you can use these automated rules, which might help you a bit with that uh, optimization, especially early on. All right, then we have the native ads. So this is where we can create our ads. First, we start with a title, which can be up to 80 characters long. And then we also want an image with the dimensions 492 by 328. Let's start with the title, okay? Uh, obviously, we would do this in the native language where you're uh, promoting this uh, campaign. Uh, but for the sake of this video, like I said earlier as well, we're going to keep it in English so that everybody is able to follow along. All right. Uh, so the title, let's say you could save up to, uh, let's say, also, don't use the dollar. Look up what the actual valuta is in the country that you're going to promote. In this case, once again, we're just going to leave it at dollar just uh, because. All right. So you can save up to, uh, let's say, uh, 978 $87 per year by saving energy with this smart tool. All right, cool. And then we want the image right here. So let's open up Canva. And once more, the dimensions 492 by 328. 492 by 328. There we go. All right. All right, so let's open up Google and I'm gonna search for uh, save energy. Let's see what we get. All right, uh, because the product is quite boring for a, uh, a image, save energy, save money. Let's see. Save electricity, maybe. All right, let's see if we can find some good pictures. Uh, it's a it's a for me, at least, it's a tough one of the tougher verticals uh, to uh, to find a good uh, creative force. So this would not be one of my strongest verticals to promote. You know, every affiliate has certain verticals where they have more, I guess, more more marketing efforts. They have more knowledge about a certain vertical and or they are more interested in a certain vertical and thus their creatives will become better for that specific vertical. And that's going to be different for every affiliate. OK, uh, so look for a vertical that works for you. All right. Uh, let's see what we could do. Um, so I don't want to use these these stock photos. Uh, they never get any good results, to be honest. All right. So this is actually the product that we're promoting or a likewise product, but I think it's the exact product. Uh, but as I said, it's it's boring to promote a picture like this. It's there's nothing going on. Nobody has any interest to find out what it is because it's just a, a small gadget. Right. Uh, so let's see what could we do as the creative. I like this. It's still a stock picture, but I kind of like it. Let's use this for the example for this campaign. I'm going to drag it in there. And there we go. And you can use these adjust buttons to your favor. OK, so what I like to do is play around with the brightness, definitely with the with the contrast and the saturation. And the blur, sometimes I put it a little bit in the minus, uh, which will create a little bit sharpiness around the corners, around the edges, uh, which I personally like. OK, so I would do it something like this and then we're going to download this creative and go back to the Avadav platform to upload it there. All right. So we're going to drag this in. All right. 
so this is uh, we, we just created one of our ads uh, most likely you want to create multiple ads and you can do so by clicking on this button right here uh, for this example we're going to leave it here because of course the process for all your different ads is the same so just keep doing the same process until you have added all the ads that you wanted to add okay now let's continue we have the countries and bits so we were going to focus on malaysia so I'm going to select Malaysia right here and then you will see that this graph will change. Okay, so this graph will tell you a little bit more about how much you should bid to get how much traffic. Okay, uh, you can also use this recommended bid or max bid. So the recommended bid is 12.1 cents uh, and that's quite high. That's somewhere in this reach. Okay, because this is 12 cents. Nope, that is 1.2 cents and this is 2.4 cents. So it's quite high actually. Um, don't know why it's this high. I'm gonna set it somewhere here. So that will be um, around 0.72 to 0.84 cents. So I'm just gonna go with 0.84, um, that one, just 0.8, that's fine with me. All right, so for 1000 impressions with this current bid, we will pay eight tenths of a cent, which is quite cheap. All right, and then we have the cities and regions. So you can include or exclude specific cities or regions inside Malaysia that you want to uh, include or exclude from your campaign. All right, I'm not going to do this at the start of my campaign because I want to generate data on all the different regions and all the different cities inside my geo. Okay. Once I have plenty of data on all those different regions and cities, then I'm going to analyze the data. And if I notice that there are specific regions or cities that do not perform well with this campaign or with this offer, even though other regions and cities are performing well, then I can decide to exclude those specific regions or cities. But like I said, I'm not going to do that at the start of my campaign because I want to generate that data. Then we have the targeting and the audience. So first we have the device, desktop or mobile. Uh, let's say we want to uh, focus on mobile. All right. Then we have the operating systems, Android, iOS and KaiOS. And we also have the operating system versions, which you can focus on. All right. Uh, but for the operating system and the operating system version, Personally, I like to leave them blank at the start, generate some data. Actually, the operating systems and operating version systems are quite deep optimization. So we need quite a lot of data before we can say anything about it. Then we have the browsers. Same thing here. Uh, I'm not going to optimize on it from the start of my campaign. I need to, to see some data before I start optimizing on the browsers. The browser language, however, is quite interesting, especially in countries where they speak multiple languages. All right. And with multiple languages, I mean multiple official languages. So not there are a lot of people speaking Spanish in the United States, but it's not an official language yet. But in countries where they have multiple official languages, it's a very interesting one. Because you're going to create your ads and your whole flow, your landing page, your offer page, all in one language. Okay. So you want to, to reach people that speak that specific language and not the other national language. Okay. Uh, so in that case, with the browser language filter, you can uh, reach to people who have set their browser language in the language where you want it to be, making sure that they're able to read your ads. Okay. Uh, so uh, we did everything in English. So let's just select English, even though our reach might go down quite a lot since I don't know for sure whether or not this is a uh, language that is spoken a lot in Malaysia. I think it is, but not quite sure. All right. So let's leave it there. Uh, but you could also say Malay, for example, if you're going to make your ads in Malay. All right. Then we have the connection type. So we have mobile or Wi-Fi slash cable. Um, same thing here. I'm not too concerned about that at the launch of my campaign. Uh, but once I get some data and I, I see, I analyze my data and I see that uh, people don't buy on Wi-Fi and only buy on mobile or the other way around, uh, then I can start optimizing on this. 
Then we also have the mobile ISP. So let me select mobile. These are basically the companies that provide you with the mobile internet. Uh, that's actually part of the deep optimization once again. So I'm not gonna worry about it at the launch of my campaign. However, later when I have plenty of data and I notice uh, that the behavior patterns of these people are different for different uh, mobile ISPs, then I can start optimizing on it. All right, then right here we can blacklist or whitelist the audiences. So you can save your audiences inside the Avidav platform. And if you've done so, you can decide to whitelist or blacklist those audiences. Then we have the campaign schedule. So you can set specific days uh, of the week and specific hours of specific days where you do or do not want to run your campaign. All right, I'm gonna start with 24 seven. Once again, I need to generate a lot of data for those different hours and for those different days uh, so that I can have a better understanding which days and which hours perform well and which don't. If I do have more data and I see that specific hours don't work, then I will start my campaign schedule and uh, schedule out those hours that do not perform well. All right. Uh, then we have the, uh, the date start. So you can set a start date for your campaign as well as an end date. Um, usually I don't work with them, but they might be very useful if you want to plan your campaign for in the future, or if you like to set an end date for your campaign. All right, and then we have the advertising limit, launch an advertising campaign immediately after moderation. So when this box is checked, your campaign will go live immediately after the avid dev has verified your ads in your landing page. Okay, if you deselect this, it will stay paused until you activate it, until you hit that launch button, okay? All right, and let's press create. Since we have uh, done uh, anything, everything, I'm sorry, so there it is, we have now created our campaign and depending on your settings, it will go live right after the moderation or it will go live on your scheduled date or it will stay paused until you hit launch. And when you hit launch, it's time to make some money and time to see the conversions come in on Ad Combo. All right, so you now know how to make money with Ad Combo using native ads on Avidev. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up and the subscribe button is all the way up there if you want to stay up to date about any new videos. That's going to be it for this one, but I will catch you next time. And until then, peace out. This video is brought to you by Debaru.com, the number one affiliate marketing software platform.